Last Word has been speaking to some of the artists who worked alongside Malcolm McLaren, starting with Jamie Reed. He designed the Sex Pistols' record sleeves, logos and posters, but first met Malcolm McLaren in the late 60s. I met him at Croydon Art School. We were both students at Croydon in the late 60s. We were, became very close friends and were very involved with all the student politics at the time. And There was a sit-in at we Croydon was, Yeah, we were very involved in the sit-ins <laughs> and what was all happening in sort of 68 in, in, in Europe. I think when we get a, a different head on looking at art history, he'll be regarded as a really great 20th, 21st century artist. In what way? Because he was working as a manager, some people have described him as a Svengali figure, but y you would argue that he was an artist in his own right. He had this amazing ability to inspire people and to act as a catalyst to actually make fantastical ideas happen. When I was at art school, one sort of learnt the art of conspiratorial thinking. And if you're going to move the culture forward, which was your mission in life, if you were going to then inadvertently change life itself, then you had to be fearless of failure. How do you do that? Well, you decide to step on a career based on becoming a magnificent failure rather than any kind of benign success. And that's what I did. One of the things to remember that people tend to forget with that particular period with the pistols, that there was a massive sense of humour and fun about it all as well, which tends to be not acknowledged like it should be. It's a great sense of mischief. And you think that's really the key to it? He, he was a mischief maker? He was a mischief maker, yeah, and he could be very comical.